Hi, my name is Jens. Today I'll show you my new Reesrix that I have made in cooperation with uh, Mr. Pike and uh, Zipco Europe. And these uh, rigs are made for bait fish. I have basically uh, two rigs here. One which is the twin hook link, which is made for stationary fishing a bait fish under a float. And the bait fish release rig that is uh, it can also be used under uh, a stationary float but it's uh, primarily made for uh, trolling uh, and for soft float pennoster let me show you how to work here you see the twin hook release rig and as you can see the top part which is easily seen by the pike is uh, white this is the ghost trace uh, that is the most inconspicuous uh, color you can have on a, on a wire uh, when you're fishing free water or mid water because white is the best uh, counter light camouflage uh, the pike can normally hide from uh, below uh, so it sees uh, uh, the wire uh, in the water from below and that means that white gives the bait the, the best camouflage um, this uh, top hook here uh, this a single is used for uh, uh, carry the bait fish. So uh, you put, uh, I'll show you uh, in a minute, you put this uh, single hook uh, maybe like this in front of the dorsal fin. That's where the balance point of most bait fish is. Uh, you can adjust uh, exactly where this hook is going to sit by adjusting these two float stops up and down. And then you uh, spread the hook lengths out, the two hook lengths. And uh, you put uh, these uh, bait spikes, for example, in the pectoral fin and in the anal fin, uh, where it's quite hard and sits uh, quite well, especially in the, uh, in the root of it. Uh, and then uh, you mount it, so these uh, two hooks are dangling under the bait. Uh, this gives a much better hook exposure, and this means that you can step down in hook size compared to what you would normally have been using. This gives you a better penetration and a more secure hook hold and consequently also a higher landing rate. So um, this is how it works. Uh, I'll just show you in a minute how to mount it. Here I'll show you how to mount the twin hook release rig. As you can see here the, the twin hook links are made of titanium which is uh, extremely durable and uh, it doesn't matter the, so much that they are black here because they are against the fish so uh, the pike won't see it against the uh, uh, the sun and the uh, open water, so you have the, in, uh, the, the the best camouflage part of the rig here when you're fishing open water and then you have the titanium hook links here. So you start by um, mounting uh, uh, the big carrying a single hook uh, at the balance point of the bait fish which is normally a, a little bit in front of the dorsal fin and you can adjust the position of this hook by pushing these float stops up and down. Then you split uh, the twin link in two and you uh, push in the bait spike uh, at the root at the pectoral fin and uh, somewhere uh, down along the fish here. Depending on which fish it is, it is normally a good idea to put it in the root of the fins where they sit very well. And um, then you're ready to fish the two uh, Trebles will be perfectly exposed for a high landing rate on your bait fish. So now we are ready to fish, and as you can see here, the bait fish is balanced perfectly uh, underneath the, the carrying hook here, with the two trebles perfectly exposed under the bait fish, and this gives a very high landing rate. On this rig, I've caught a lot of big pike. Let me show you one of them. What a fantastic looking fish here! Oh yeah. What a fucking fish! This one I got on a, on a drift of float with a dead bait. Yeah. What a fantastic looking fish! Let's put it back. Bye. 
Here you see the bait fish and reese rig, and as on the other rig, it is made uh, from the ghost wire, which is white to give the best camouflage in the midwater. This front single hook is used for uh, carrying the bait, uh, so uh, this is the one that takes the casting acceleration uh, when you're casting. Um, then you have the two hooks that you are going to hook the pike on or the predator on. And in the end you have a small hook and this is uh, not meant to uh, hook the fish, uh, the predator. This is uh, just meant to attach the rig in the uh, opposite end of the bait fish. So the two hooks are dangling perfectly under the bait when you are trolling or fishing sub float at that nostril. Uh, as I mentioned before, this one, this hook can be mounted either in the mouth of the bait fish or in the tail of the bait fish depending on if you are trolling or fishing subfloat paternoster. But let me show you how to mount the bait fish the two different ways in a second. Here you see how to mount a, a bait fish on the rig. Uh, you mount the, the front single hook that carries the bait in the mouth. If you're fishing live bait fish uh, you fish it either in the top lip or the lower lip, never in both of them because that will inhibit the flow of oxygen over the gills. Um, and then you uh, mount the small single hook in the end of the rig so uh, the tension on the rig goes in a way that the, the wire is running like one to two centimeters below the rig. Then you have a perfect exposure of the hook and you'll get a very high landing rate. So this is how it works, very simple. Let me show you how to mount it for soft float paternoster. When you're fishing subfloat at an oyster, you want the uh, the bait fish to uh, swim away from the from the main line, so you avoid uh, tangle. This is of course, of course a dead roach, but for subfloat you will be using a live roach. So you could be putting the the hook that carry the bait in the tail, and then simply mount this small hook, so you get the the right uh, the right tension on the rig so it's so the so the two hooks are dangling just under the bait here and then you'll get a perfect hook, hook exposure it's nice fish here on a dead bait perfect fish on a dead bait couldn't be better